Hi, my name is Nicholas Hill, and in this screencast, we're going to be taking a look at the VGA to USB device from Epifan. As you can see, it's a really, really tiny video converter device. This one I've got on loan from onevideo.co.uk, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at exactly how it works. So essentially what we've got is we've got this small little box, and what it does is in one end, it's going to be able to take a VGA signal. So for example, in this uh, particular case, I'm going to have it connected up to the VGA output from an iPad, but it could just as easily be a computer um, or, a, for example, an Xbox, anything that you want to do a screen capture on. And what it's going to do is it's going to convert that signal, and out the other side, we're going to get the ability to connect that up to a PC, or in this particular example, we're going to be hooking it up to a Macintosh to be able to capture that output. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at just how we're going to hook these devices up. So let's start with the Epifan that's um, got this small device. Now what we're going to do into this, we're going to plug a VGA cable and that essentially is going to give us the ability to put a video signal in. And into the other end, what we're going to do is we're going to take the mini USB connector and we're going to plug that in. So as you can see, it sort of really acts as an inline device uh, between your output and the input into your computer. So it's that simple. Now, just to sort of, I guess, finish off the picture and show you quite how it's all gonna work, what I've got in this particular example is just to show you exactly how it's gonna work, I have got a VG out, VGA out connector for the iPad and into that I'm going to plug the other end of the VGA cable like so. So now what we've got is we've got an iPad that connects through to a VGA cable that connects through to the Epifan um, VGA to USB converter and then obviously we've got the USB cable that connects through onto in this example the Macintosh. So now we've shown you how to get the hardware set up let's take a look at what we get once we've got it connected up to a computer. Okay, so what you can see in front of you now is my desktop and what we're going to now do is we're going to find and fire up the application that actually captures the um, input from this device. So what we do is we're going to fire up VGA to USB. Now this is an application that you can download from the Epifan website. It's completely uh, free to download the latest version and it interfaces and talks to their device. Now what you can see is that as I pan across and go from um, page to page, it's capturing and displaying that output on the Macintosh display. Uh, we can see up here that we've got a screen resolution of 1024 by 768 and that is the native output of the iPad. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start recording um, a movie and show you how we go about recording and how easy it is to record using the Epifan device. So I literally start recording and what we've got is we've got a timer showing us how much recording has been going on and I'm going to start using the device. Um, I'm going to demonstrate it slightly by using um, a subscription to Wired which is um, a magazine that's been specifically done and produced for the iPad. So as you can see I can pan across all these pages um, and it captures perfectly on the iPad. Um, and anything I do, so I come out of that application and I'm going to go into Safari to look at the internet um, and again as you can see everything that we do on here works absolutely perfectly and seamlessly. So that should do for a capture. Now I'm going to stop that and I'm going to come out of, um, exit out of that. Now what we can see is that it's created a video file. Um, it's a Mac compatible video file, um, but again on a PC it would create an equivalent file for your PC. So what we can now do is I'm going to play this back and we should be able to see the video that we've just captured. So there we go, we can see the video playing back and we can see us going into the wired um, issue and there, that's our video capture, it was that simple. So I'm gonna pause that 
um, and I'm going to close it down. Now what I'll do is I'll go back into the VGA to USB application. As I say, this is free to download from the Epiphone website. Um, and what we are able to do um, is we can, there are a couple of things that we can do. We can go in and we can adjust some, some preferences and settings. It does have some automatic settings. Um, I'll put those back to automatic. Um, I personally prefer the capture settings where I had to come up, uh, come up with my own, but you can go in and adjust things depending on the video output that you're getting, um, and there are a few to play around with, but I found that pretty much everything out of the box, apart from where I, I played with the uh, brightness and the contrast just to adjust that down a little bit, um, it was all pretty much perfect. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, it's a fairly straightforward, um, fairly straightforward application. It's going to allow you to be able to capture that output, put it onto uh, onto a Macintosh or a PC, and then be able to edit that up, um, however you see fit using um, a video editing or application device. Um, so that pretty much shows how easy that is. Let's just very quickly go up and pull up the Epifan website. Now these were the guys that were very, very kind enough to let me have one of these devices on, on test um, and to be able to play with, so that's why I'm producing this video. Now you can see that there is an entry level model which is a VGA screen grabber. Um, now we can come down and we can take a look at some of the specs of this particular model. Now you will see at 1024 by 768 it's capable of capturing 10 frames um, a second under Windows XP. Now the particular model that we've got um, is in fact um, the next model up. So I'm just going to pull up the specifications for this. So let's just go to Epifan and we have got the LR model. Now the benefit of the LR model is that whilst the size is absolutely the same and the input and the output is the same, um, what it does actually do is it gives us a much higher frame rate, starting going down to basically a minimum of 15, um, uh, but if the action isn't too too strenuous um, in terms of the data, the data uh, bandwidth, you're going to be able to get up to 60 frames per second. Now typically for video you're going to want to be able to capture at something around about 20-25 frames which would make for perfectly uh, good video production. Um, now the other benefit of this particular model that we're looking at is that um, instead of being um, interlaced it's progressive in terms of the screen uh, and the capture that it gives us. So we can get some pretty amazing video that's been captured through this device and in fact I've been using it to do some screencasts for the iPad which was the particular reason why uh, in the first place I got in touch with the guys at One Video who were kind enough to let me borrow this. So I mean that pretty much sums up and shows you what this uh, this great little device can do from Epifan. It's pretty amazing in fact what you get out of a tiny little box uh, and and unless you've got some way of being able to screen capture on uh, on the device, so for example a PC or a Mac you can screen capture, you didn't, don't necessarily need to take the VGA output. If you've got a device as, as for example I do, which is the iPad and doesn't have a screen capture device, it's going to be a great way of being able to take that signal and turn it into a video. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope that's been useful to you. And um, that was the Epifan VGA to USB LR device. Thanks.